Hello, hello, lads and girls. This is Lord Kicker, and uh, welcome to another tutorial video. This time, I thought I would go through and actually show you how to set up uh, a Pixelmon server. So, um, some of you that might have followed me for a long time might know that when I started this channel, I mostly just did Pixelmon videos. So. Start up. I have a few files that I downloaded. Also have a list of uh, links where you can download these. Uh, I'm gonna put all of this in the description, and also gonna put in some timestamps there if you wanna see certain points. You just click there and follow the steps. So what we're gonna do is install Forge. And I want to install, well, we can start with the client, and um, usually it is uh, C colon users, your username, and app data, roaming, and dot Minecraft, because that is usually where you have your Minecraft installed. I don't think you can change that, actually, so, and if you can, there. Uh, there is a button here so you can pick where you have it. Uh, anyways, that is where I have mine. So just going through and installing all that. And uh, shouldn't take too long. There we go. Successfully install the client. So if I start up my Minecraft now, you see it says uh, Forge 1.12.2, and then I click Play. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna create some uh, folders inside of your app data that you can get to by typing. Percent app data percent. Then you get into the roaming folder, and there you have your dot Minecraft. And it's still making the folders here, so it's gonna take a while. And also, it might be downloading an older version of the. Uh, Minecraft that I don't have installed. I recently installed it back on my main computer. I haven't had it for a while. <laughs> Clean it out, so. And also now I have this forge there. Yeah, I think it is that it's downloading the 1.12.2. All I had before is the 14. Yeah, so as you can see, I pretty much installed this yesterday. Alright, there we go. I think it's starting up. And now you can see I got a folder that's called Mods. Um, can. Close you back down. Open that one. And uh, then we have this one that's uh, Pixelmon 1.12.2. Uh, really important that it is the same version as the, the Forge. Alright, so we're gonna copy that because we're gonna need more of those. And paste it in. And now, if we start Minecraft, I know it's gonna say unnamed there, but that is the the Forge version. If I start it up here, it's gonna tell me that it's loading the Pixelmon mod. 
There you go, picks them on. So if all you want to do is just install Pixelmon and play by yourself, then this is pretty much all you gotta do. Really, really simple. And here we can see all the mods. There we go, Pixelmon. Awesome. So if I press uh, single player Uh, I would think it would be something like this. <clears throat> I don't remember if you have to turn off the mobs yourself or if that's done in the in the mod. But yeah, see, working like a charm. Okay, uh, let's just exit that, and now we're gonna open up the forge again. And we want to install the server. And I want to go into my desktop. Sorry, it's in Swedish here, so. And I got a folder here I called Pixelmon Server. Gonna take that and OK. And now it's gonna download Minecraft server version. And let's see. Looks like this will take a little while too. Probably gonna speed this up. All right, here we go. So now I should just have to run that forge oh, am I mistaken here Nope, oh, there it goes. <laughs> then you get the EULA. This one you need to accept. And to accept it, all you need to do is just change this into true. Like so. And save. And then we should be able to start this again. There we go. I don't know why it didn't pop up before. Um, and uh, by default, you get one gig of memory. This will kind of be okay if you're just gonna play with like four friends or something like that. Um, I also have another video where I showed you how to do a bucket server. In there I also made a well, a little script that uh, makes it so you get more RAM to the server. Uh, let's see, are you done? Well, it will look that way. Okay, then we go into mods. And we want to have the Pixelmon. It's universal, so this one works for both uh, the server and for, well, your installation. So, we're going to copy that. Paste it into the mods folder on the Pixelmon server. And then we have this... Uh, world there. I am going to empty this one out because I think it's gonna need a little bit of a reset. Okay. So uh, 
again, if you don't want to use Machi, you just can have sort of a LAN. You have people over and you're going to play on this server, then this will be totally fine. All you need to do then is just check the IP of your computer. And I think most people already know this, but you can do a CMD. And then all you need to do is IP config. And then you get uh, your local IP address. Right there. So your friends just need to copy that and paste it in. And then I will get to that server. Um, Alright, so... Next we're gonna install Hamachi. This I haven't done yet though. Uh, let's see... Here we go. And preferred language, let's go for English. Sure, I've read it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can create a desktop shortcut, why not? Nah, I don't need LastPass. Not right now, at least. Alright, so now it's installing the network drivers, because this will act kind of like a, a network card. Alright. Here we go. And uh, you're gonna have to sign up here, it looks like. Uh, sure, why not? Uh, not really that it matters. Okay, you didn't have to sign up. Okay, that's nice. So. What you do now is you create a new network and you want to have a network ID. People are going to have to connect to this later on, so let's just say pixel non server tutorial. And let's just set up a little bit of a password. And just make this simple to remember because you're gonna have to give it out to your friends later on. I'm just setting something real simple here. And create. Sign up or log in to continue using Hamachi. All right, let's I'm just gonna sign in here real quickly. You're just gonna have to make an account though, but uh... yeah, uh, I'll just do this and I'll be back in a second. All right, here we go. So, there's our server. And uh, what we need to do now is uh, right click right here with the, where it says the IP address of your computer and copy. Um, and we're gonna go into server. And then we have this one that's called Server Properties. And we're going to open this one up with the uh, Notepad. Or any text editor that you would prefer. Alright, so in here... Uh, you can also change the maximum world size. But here is the server IP address. I'm gonna paste that in. 
Now that's gonna make sure that if you connect to this IP, you're gonna get connected to this server. And also you can change if you have, want to have PvP on or not. And also messages and stuff that's gonna gonna say it when you connect to the server. A whole lot of stuff. Um, all right then. So now, if we're going to start this up, and also uh, when you have people joining this. Uh, how much server they just need to download it. They don't need to do the whole server setup. That's only the host. But in this list, they're gonna see you, and you are gonna see them as soon as they join it. Uh, you can have five people in each of these, but uh, you can have multiple if you want to have more people in there. Doesn't really matter. Only thing is that if you want to have 10 people, you need to have two of these servers in Hamachi. But, I mean, if you're going to be more people, you should probably set up a real server in the cloud. They're usually a lot better. So, I'm talking a lot here. So, we're gonna start up our Minecraft, going into the, the Forge version, as we did before, but this time we're going to join a server. Come on now. Almost there, honey. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to multiplayer, add server, and in here we're going to paste that address in. Oh yeah, yeah it works. I was thinking back to when I uh, used to make servers like this. Then you have to have the port number too. But, as you can see, I could connect to the server. Of course, now I'm a local, but... Thanks to Amachi, it should work... ...all over. And... ...it also... ...took that IP that we had. So, yeah. That's all there is to it. That is how you set up a Pixelmon server. And play with friends that aren't in your house. Or are they? <laughs> yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you thought it was helpful, give it a, a like and stuff. And, uh, yeah, you can tell me what you want to see next. Well, I'm ending off the episode here. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you in another video. Until then, bye bye!